Hi everyone, welcome to Stoyeek's News for September 11th, 2015. I'm your host, Paul Asadorian, joined on the lines via Skype by Mr. Will Cooper. Welcome, Will. Hey, Paul, how's it going today? It's going fantastic. What do you got for us as far as news goes in the cigar industry? Actually, I actually have a piece, we'll kick it off with a breaking piece of news, um, and it's a little mo more of a regional thing, but I think it's still going to be of interest to people everywhere. Um, Latelier Imports, which is the spinoff company run by Pete Johnson, his brother, Dan Welsh, Casper Johnson, um, is going to be releasing a special uh, version of their um, Latelier line. Um, and I think what's going to be of interest to people, and I know we've talked about this on the show with Stogie Santa, is that this is going to be the first box press cigar um, that's been done in Latelier. So it's going to feature that Sancti Spiritus wrapper. I was just going to say it's Sancti Spiritus, isn't it? Yeah, but Sancti Spiritus, it's a tweak off the original line. I've been told it's a little more fuller. Um, and it's going to be in a 6x50 box press, 15-count boxes. It's going to 20 retailers in the southeast. And uh, each retailer is going to be getting 25 boxes. So there'll be plenty of them to go around. Nice. Yeah, the, as we've talked about... Especially, as I remember in the Rocky Patel interview, the box press definitely makes for a different cigar. It, it, total, it totally does. We've, uh, we've seen that uh, quite a bit, you know, especially with, um, I just remember we were talking about those Rocky Patel Cameroons. Mm -hmm. um, just so folks know, just sort of looking out for the cigar, it is called the Latelier Special Edition MAM. And I don't know what MAM stands for. I really haven't been able to get confirmation. But it should be hitting stores in October and... November. Excellent. What else you got, Will? Um, not directly a cigar thing, but I'll tell you what. It actually caught my attention a bit. Um, and this goes. This is a story around um, Jonathan Drew, um, who kind of threw something out there. And I and more of my comments are why it was thrown out there, less than maybe what it is, but. Um, he announced there's going to be a venture he's starting called John Drew Brands. Um, and it looks like from, from all the stuff he's put out there, and it's not much, but it looks like he's getting into uh, the beverage industry, whether it's um, whiskey, um, craft coffees, um, those bourbons. So it looks like that he is, you know, he's obviously going to be working on this. It's going to be under the name John Drew Brands. And my, my feeling is he's going to try to impart that Drew Estate culture into uh, the beverage industry. You know, it's interesting, Will. There's a lot of overlap and a lot of joint projects between liquor and beer and coffee that overlap with cigars. We've had several people on the Stogie Geek show who do cigars and coffee. A lot of cigar manufacturers will also distribute their own brand of coffee. And a lot, uh, the uh, El Sen Senorio is the tequila. Remember that? They also yep. have cigars. So I think it's a good pairing for Jonathan to, to kind of use a pun there, right? I think it's a good, uh, a good thing for him. I think it very much relates to cigars because we talk about how cigars pair with different types of uh, adult beverages or coffee. So I, there's been a lot of overlap. I think some success with coming out with co-branded or, you know, sister kind of branded alcoholic spirits along with cigars. Yes, the only thing that kind of opened Pandora's box with this is it's being announced under something called John Drew Brands, which is begging the question, is this something that's going to be done with Drew Estate, or is Jonathan going to have a separate venture from Drew Estate, or is he leaving Drew Estate? And those are the questions I think now that this announcement started to create. We don't know. We don't know what it is yet, other than he's definitely going to be playing in this field going forward. So I, my question is, I don't know why you'd open Pandora's box with that, other than it, either way, if it's going to be something tied to cigars or just maybe taking the culture of cigars and putting it into the beverage industry, I think it's a good thing. Yeah, and I think, of course, it draws speculation in any time that you have um, a company that is a merger or acquisition 
Uh, sometimes the founders leave. I mean, that you know, that happens. We've seen it, that in cigars. I've seen that in countless numbers of different industries, technology, what have you. You know, sometimes they only stay on for a certain amount of time and they want to go off and do something different. And I think it's a healthy, a healthy activity. Yeah, I mean, it's an organic, like you said. It, mm. It's organic. It's part of the process. And certainly, you know, wouldn't surprise people if that happened. Um, at the same time, you know, it wouldn't surprise a lot of people if this is just a very, if, if this becomes a kind of a uh, collaboratory, collaborative right. type of thing, too. Right. So, so it'll I be think interesting it, to see which way it goes. Yeah, and they're talking about uh, a launch for this in April of next year. So um, obviously not totally cigar-related, but somewhat. I think right. it, it is going to be of interest to people. Cool. What else you got, Will? Um, final story is, I know we've talked about this a lot on the uh, the big show, but um, I think we should make note that um, right now the launch of Indian Ultra Premium Motorcycle Cigars is underway. Uh, Phil actually kicked it off up in Londonbury, New Hampshire last Friday, September 4th, with the uh, launch uh, at uh, Twin Smoke Shop, Kirk Kendall's place. He's now making his way, I'd say, through, he went down to New Jersey, he was down at Barrister's, He's going to be heading back to New England. He's going to Owl in Worcester. Wuch- I said that right. Worcester. Uh, Worcester? Worcester. 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 Yeah, Worcester. I knew it. Worcestershire is a sauce. Worcestershire, Worcestershire is, a sauce. is a sauce. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mickey Blake's in uh, Southington, Connecticut. And then, of course, he's going to be going up to Joyles. I think this is a, you know, I think this is a very, very big thing. Um, first of all, we have, we, we've talked a lot. We, the cigars we know that Phil... You know, he's worked hard on those cigars, and, and we haven't smoked them yet, but I think we're excited to smoke them. I think it's going to have a few things. First of all, I think it's going to give Phil a more affordable option out there. I mean, these are, these are going to be priced uh, a little less than the debonairs, and so I think that's good. And I think, second of all, this has been catching the attention of the Indian motorcycle fans. I can mm. tell you I've been following this closely, and there are a lot of people who may not be hardcore Cigar people, but are hardcore Indian motorcycle people looking at this right now. Yeah, I think it's great to cross uh, genres or interests with that. I also think that Phil's gained a lot of traction on social media. Uh, I see a lot of traction on Facebook that he's getting with this new brand. He's launching it in the Northeast, which is the most difficult market, I think, to penetrate and launch a cigar in. And Phil's in like a lot of the major shops here in New England. So... You know, to do it here, I think it'll spread really fast across the rest of the country, and I'm very much looking forward to the event on September 19th, right in my backyard. Yeah, and I, I, I you know, actually, when I was doing a little research for this, uh, Indian motorcycle comes from Springfield, Mass. So, I yes. mean, there is a tie to the area. Correct. Um, so, I, I said, I think it's going to be, and then I'm sure he's going to be heading to some of the other out, outside the Northeast after this. I, I mean, Texas, I would guess, is going to be very much probably, on his yeah, next probably list his next yet. stop. Yeah. Yeah. Can't wait to smoke the cigar. I think it's going to be awesome. Yep, same here. Same here. Excellent. Well, that's the Stogie Geeks news for this week. Uh, I want to remind everyone to check out the big show, stogiegeeks.com forward slash live, every Thursday evening, 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Also, make sure you check out the stogiegeeks.com website where you can find our YouTube channel, watch all of our videos, subscribe to all of our podcasts, and, of course, our daily review site, cigar-coop.com. Make sure you go there every day and check on the new cigar reviews and cigar news uh, that's going on in the industry. So thanks, everyone, for watching. Thanks. Excellent. All right, well.